guys, it's me, Christy, and are you pumped for WrestleMania? I brought you this Balor paint today from when he won the Universal title, and I've been so excited to do this since I was actually at that SummerSlam event when it happened, and I was so glad to witness it, and I'm glad to bring it to you all today. So to sweet me, and let's get started. So it is nice and early as I'm doing this makeup, and I already have my brow done and my other makeup done, which I have both videos ready for you to learn from them and they'll be in the description box below. Starting out using a lime green water activated face paint, I'm going to start with the tongue. I'm using a reference photo to follow along to get to the right shape that I need it in. I decided to freehand paint this so I could play around with the shape of it and if I messed up I can always wipe it off easily with water. I changed the shape later on but this is my base shape for now that I'm working with. Then I take a darker green paint on a fluffy blending brush to start shading in all the curves of the tongue. And also shade where a shadow would be casted on the tongue. I shade it more on the bottom of the tongue and I go back and forth using the lime green paint and the darker green paint so the two colors can blend smoothly in the tongue to, to give its depth. I also dip the brush into the paint with the least amount of water at times so it doesn't deposit too much color and blends a little more into the other paint that we had on before. To brighten it up, I took a bright lime green eyeshadow and I blended it over the lime green paint to make it brighter. And I even mixed it with a little bit of yellow eyeshadow to highlight it as well. I also took a darker green eyeshadow for the shaded places just to make it darker. Then taking that darker green paint again and a thin liner brush, I paint the line down the middle of the tongue which will help show more of the curve of the tongue and then I take a white paint to start adding some highlights to really accentuate each curve. Then here's where I kind of change things a bit. I didn't like the shape of the tongue as I started detailing it, so I wiped the bottom part of it out using water and a paper towel. Then I repainted the shape to a more simpler shape that matches more of where it would fit on my chest area. And I continued the blending and shading that we did before onto this one. And I even added more yellow eyeshadow by itself to further highlight the tongue more. Just so it appears brighter just like his. So I kind of had to use what I had to make it match what he had. And dance break. Now redefining that tongue line with the darker green eyeshadow this time. And I'm mixing a little bit of black too just to darken it more. Add some more white highlights. And then I'm shading the outside of the tongue with some black eyeshadow. All this blending looks like a mess right now, but we're going to clean it up later with the black paint to, and we'll further define those lines and you'll see it more pop out very soon. So let's finally move on from the tongue and go to the teeth. I'm taking a white face paint and I'm outlining the shape of every tooth. Now he has more sharp triangular teeth with sort of a diamond shaped bottom into the gum area. Be careful when painting the teeth over the tongue. Do not use too much water on the paint, otherwise you risk mixing it and getting getting more greenish teeth, so take your time in layering the white paint, making sure each layer is dry before painting over it. Then you will fill in the whole tooth with white. If you're wondering which paint I'm using, I'm definitely going to list all the products I use to do this paint in the description box below. Now taking a red face paint, we are going to outline the bottom of each tooth, defining the sharp edges each tooth should have. Since this red is also counting for the gums, I'm also going to take that brush and spot it around to create a cloudy sporadic shape that it has. Since it doesn't really have a defined shape, it's more of a smudgy outline. Now the most tedious yet satisfying part of this paint, outlining everything with a black face paint. This is where all the shading you've worked on really pops out and you can sharpen the teeth further and fill in any negative space. 
when I mean tedious work, I really mean tedious. You, you know what, let's, let's slow it back to real time for a second. I even stopped singing to concentrate. Other than the tongue, this took the most time. So let's get back up to speeding. I'm using a thin bent liner brush to do this so I can really get into every small corner or angle, nook and cranny, whatever small space I can get into so I don't make any mistakes. Now you're going to outline the whole area in black, blending it to make it a smoky effect around the edges. Add some white highlights to the gums. And now we can finally move on to the face. We're pretty much going to repeat the same steps for the teeth onto our face. However, we're just going to do them upside down. I also added a half skull shape, replicating the one Balor had on his face. And unfortunately, I am overexposed on the camera. You can't see it fully. And then my camera decided to stop recording, and I didn't realize this right away. But as you can see, I finished outlining everything in black, minus leaving a little smoky ring around my eye, just to show that the demon's taking over, and that's the last part that it just didn't take over just yet. And the very last step out of this whole long makeup is writing all the words around his arms that he has for this demon look. I'm pretty much writing Demon King, Balor, Destroy that he had on him. I think I added BC for Bullet Club. Or Balor Club, whichever. And to do this, I used the bent eyeliner brush from before, black paint. And from my view, I had to write the letters backwards so you all can read it from your view. And an easy way to do this is writing the words on a piece of paper and holding it in front of the mirror. And you just follow the words that way. You just follow the shape and it makes it so much easier to write backwards. And once you finish all the words, you are done. Hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. Follow me on all my social media which will be in the description box below. Are you guys pumped for Wrestlemania? Will Finn Balor be our next intercontinental champion over the Miz? Sound it out in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.